My name is Charlie McGrath. I'm the founder of WideAwakeNews.com and a host on the Rinse Radio Network. The law of diminishing returns not only works with bailouts, with saving too big to fail financial firms and pretending to fix the economy by passing trillion dollar stimulus packages. It also works with optimism. Now, just like from 2008 till now, we've seen all these trillions of dollars being spent one program after another. Each time we have a little bit less return on the previous stimulus package. Well, the same holds true for the optimism, the propaganda machines that come out. You know, for four uh, consecutive bailouts now, we've seen the duration of time that the hope lasted inside of Europe to be shorter and shorter. With the last one being this last end all, beat all, everybody hold hands and we're going to put this debt crisis to bed. Uh, deal that was announced on Thursday. It lasted a massive four days. By Monday morning, we found out that there was no deal. There was no China coming to the rescue. There was no investors going to step in and save the day for Europe. The fact of the matter is the deal, which was 400 billion euros on Wednesday, on Thursday, is the same deal on Monday, and it's just not enough money to fix the problem inside of Greece. And even if they did guarantee, promise, and borrow more money, it still doesn't fix the problems, not only inside of Greece, but the rest of Europe. Now, you take that with news being released on Monday, yesterday, that the first U.S. financial firm uh, bit the dust under the European debt crisis, and you start to look into that debacle, you see the condition that the country and the world is really in. After three and a half years of trillions and trillions of dollars and, tr and countless bailouts, we see nobody held accountable. Nobody goes to jail. Nobody is perp-walked except for the sacrificial lamb uh, of uh, Bernie Madoff. You know, the same exact people who got us here are the ones who are making the headlines now. For example, MF Global, run by John Corzine. If you know that name, well, you should. He was a former senator from New Jersey, then governor from New Jersey. But before he did that, before he uh, tiptoed into the political scene, he happened to be the CEO of none other than Goldman Sachs. John Corzine, who was beat by Chris Christie, and then in July promised all kinds of help to Barack Obama to get him uh, up to the $89 million worth of campaign contributions that he received in 2008, if maybe he could be considered for the Treasury Secretary job when uh, Timmy Geithner decides he's going to leave as the ship is sinking. This same John Corzine is at the head of MF Global. MF Global, which uh, leveraged a bunch of money that wasn't even theirs on the uh, Euro bailout, the European debt crisis bailout, the big fix, they were investing millions upon millions, maybe even billions of dollars of money that wasn't theirs. You know, it was announced today that uh, CME, the head of CME came out and said, you know, it's clear to us now that uh, uh, MF Global was using uh, funds that were supposed to be set aside. These were client funds that were supposed to be segregated from the accounts of MF Global. They didn't do it. They compiled them all together and they made the big bet. The company goes bankrupt. Well, what will happen? What will happen to John Corzine? What will happen to the, with the collusion between Wall Street and Washington, D.C.? What's going to happen is absolutely nothing. And that is why you have millions of people now at this point around the world out in the streets demanding justice. They want a redress of their grievances because the political system has been totally co-opted and totally bought and paid for. Stories are attached. That's all I got.